No, no, don't do it, Marv. Don't do it to him. Don't do it to him, Marv. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't kill. Don't kill. Don't kill. Oh my God, Marv. Don't kill at 95 from a cell. What are you doing, baby boo? Keep your eyes open. I'm not even gonna lie. I really, I was just really surprised that Marv got a buff. So yeah, these are all the buffs. If you wanna slow it down and pause it to see what it is, but basically down tilt up tilt and dash attack all got buffs down tilt became easier to hit up tilt became easier to hit and also stronger which is probably his best buff and dash attack now has the same kill power or a little bit less or a little bit more than f tilt which we all know that's a good thing so let's head straight to the video we're making a video right now all right guys this is your boy x and marv got buffed so usually marv's up tilt killed at 140 Barely killed at 130, but let's see what happens if we do it at 130. Beautiful. So it kills 10% earlier because it barely killed right there. Let's see 125. That barely kills at 125. Marv's up tilt is at least 10 to 12% stronger. Let's do max rage Marv. How early is this killing? Let's do 115. Let's do 115. Oh! I'm done. That's it, video over. This is a stupid dope mix. Let's go. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's, let's push our luck a little bit. Let's push our luck a little bit. Oh! Oh! Oh, hold on, G-Money. I got you real quick. I got you right now. Oh! Oh! The G money, let's do the G money again. Bro, oh my God, it's insane. All right. Yeah. If you catch someone, if you catch someone's jump with up tilt at 115, they're dead. I heard that tipper up tilt is also easier to tipper. How true is that? That wouldn't, that wouldn't have tippered. Ooh, that's a kill confirm at 110. That's a kill confirm at 110 now. Wow. 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 At 105, Nair up tilt starts killing with 100% max with 100% range. Wow, wow, oh my god. All right, let's look at the platforms. Wow. Look at this. This ESAM right here, this ESAM right here. Watch this, watch this. I'm the big dog. Look. Wow. Wow. Look at that. Look where his foot is at. Oh my God, at 120. At 120, guys. Oh my God, before I fucking... Before I steal myself, let's see what, 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 what this is, man. Max Rage. Oh my God, at 105. No, no, don't do it, Marv, don't do it to him. Don't do it to him, Marv, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't kill, don't kill, don't kill. Oh my god. Marv, don't kill at 95 from a up tilt. What are you doing, baby boo? Hey, we lit. Y'all yeah, yeah, ain't never seen... Min Min got nerfed? I would say up tilt is around 12% to 10% to 10 to 12% stronger, which is great. That's what I've been asking for. Ask Skyline, Skyline. How many times have I told you that we need to get up tilt buffed? Dash attack got you right now. So Marv's dash attack killed at 110. I mean, dash attack killed at 110. I still suck with dash attack. Oh my God. They ain't buffering enough. Now nah, imagine. <laughs> Fourth time's a charm. 
At 100. At 100. At 100. It barely killed at 100. Let's try 95. Ooh. It may kill at 95. Look at that. Oh, my God. Beautiful. Listen, again, this isn't with DI, but it is definitely 10% stronger. Let's do max rage. That, oh, that, that kills at 95 or almost mid-stage. Yeah. So the dash attack buff, honestly, you still want to go for F2, for a pi per, uh, pivot F2, but this is more of a burst option. Dash attack is a better burst option now compared to like F pivot F2 because it's more a little bit more easier to catch on, obviously. But now dash attack has similar knockback growth. It seems to have similar knockback growth to that to Tipper F tilt, which is great. We know that Tipper F tilt's busted. Now we know that dash attack is also going to be busted in its own way. So now down tilt, ooh, down tilt is a lot easier to Tipper. So I didn't really talk about tipper down to our shield because I just thought it was self-explanatory. You're going to get a lot more tippers up close, meaning that you're going to get tipper down to on shield a lot more often. It's a little bit more lenient. And the fact that Marv's tipper down to is negative six means that we may be able to get a lot more frame traps, but I can't be too sure. Probably not compared to Lucina's negative eight down to and Marv's sour spot down till being negative nine so just the fact that we're gonna be able to be a little bit closer and getting that tipper down to on shield means that you know we're pretty safe i know a lot of people are gonna complain that now we have to be a little bit closer to get the sour spots but that's kind of the point you can't really just be too mad because there's obvious benefits to getting the tipper down to whether it's putting them at disadvantage or trying to set up a tech situation earlier or just being safer on shield overall and being more consistent same thing with up tilt people are going to complain about up tilt being less consistent with sour spots but that's not true you want to be up close to get your kill confirm combo so there's up tilt back here what people don't talk about is tipper up tilt into tipper up tilt is going to be a lot more consistent and with staling on is still going to do around 23 damage compared to lucina's 18 percent or Mark's 14 to 15 percent if he gets two sour spot up tilts or one tipper up tilt and one sour spot up tilt we're just going to get more consistent damage more consistent damage being more consistent is what the game is about right and the same thing with dash attack is going to be a lot more consistent is gonna kill earlier because it has the same kill power relative to F2 and we already know that F2 is busted. Meaning that dash attack may be busted once we learn how to utilize it. See, my biggest gripe with a lot of people in the Smash community is that, well, it doesn't matter because Ultimate doesn't allow Marth to be consistent, which is somewhat true, but then it's also false because we're not perfect as human beings. Meaning even in Smash 4 with a slower game, we're not going to get tippers 100% of the time. It's human nature. We make flaws, we make errors, we make errors in our calculations, and that's just how it is. As to where I think Marf is now, I still think he's a solid high tier. Um, him being able to kill on the ground relatively early now, I think is ridiculous because now he, he's a threat also above. You know, if you wanted to get a tipper up there, it was a big call out or you use like the Kalos platforms. Or the Unova platforms. But now people are going to be scared to be above Marth. Because if he does have max rage. Or he has some form of max rage. He's going to be able to kill at 125, 130. Maybe even sooner. So I am not. Want, I don't want to give all my opinions on this patch. Uh, but I do hope you enjoyed the initial reactions. I'll give you my full breakdown. And my full thoughts on these buffs. Once I go to tournament. Once I continue to do offline sessions and offline tournaments where I can be comfortable and give you my full opinion. If I feel like these buffs didn't do anything, I'll be honest and I'll take the L. But if I feel like these buffs help Marth elevate into a new level, I'll definitely let that be known. Anyways guys, I hope you all enjoyed the video and the initial reactions. This is your boy X and I'm out here. This is a stupid dope mix.